Hey, welcome back to Top Agent Training. I'm Kurt with Inspections Over Coffee. We take a few minutes and talk about appliances. Now, let me state this first. Uh, most of the states that have SOPs, which tells us what to inspect and what to write down, and uh, NACHI, who is like sort of the international, like they're in 80 some um, countries, most of the states that created anything, whether it's licensing or the SOP or any of that, um, kind of took it out from, from uh, NACHI. Um, all of them say appliance is not required to be inspected. Of course, to me, I mean, you're talking about, you know, an oven is a grand, a good refrigerator is four grand, microwaves a couple hundred, washer dryers, 1,500, two grand, dishwashers, 500. Um, this, these are like big expenses, right? So what we do as a company, we found that thousands of clients every year uh, appreciate this, is we operate them and make sure that there's no damage deterioration that they're operating correctly. Now, we're not taking them apart. We're not looking at the freon levels in the in the refrigerator. We're not, uh, but we do, you know, operate the stove top, the, you know, the range light, the the range fan, um, broil oven, run the dishwasher, make sure it's not leaking. Uh, we'll run the washer and the dryer, make sure they're working and not leaking. And then basically, if they appear to be more than ten years old, we just remind the clients, hey, these are mechanical items. They're more than ten years old. You may have to budget for some new new ones, you know, sooner rather than later. And the analogy I like to use is. Let's see, I'm making this video in 2022. So if you bought a 2010 car, you would have no Dahmer on it and it would say 120,000 miles. And then it's very obvious if something mechanically breaks in the car, nobody's really surprised because 120,000 miles on it. So I try to just remind people like, hey, same deal with your appliances in the house. They're, they have miles on them, they, they, they get used very often and um, they're not gonna last forever. Now the one extra step that we take is we pull the serial and the model numbers off of all, wherever we can find them, and we put them into a system where your clients will be notified of any recalls that um, may come from it. So just like the car, you own a Honda, Honda dealership reaches out and says, hey, there's a recall, bring it in, we're gonna fix it. Same story, you, you get a recall on the refrigerator potentially, you call the manufacturer, they'll give you a local technician, the technician comes out, they either make the repair for, for, uh, for free or they've, I've actually seen items get replaced. Now what's really cool is your clients get that recall report once a month as long as they own the house. So if they buy a new washer and dryer, they can put that in the system and they will continue to get notified about it. What's extra cool is you as the realtor, if you put your headshot and contact info into our system, um, it will look like it's coming from you every single month. So a year and a half from now when they get a new dishwasher because the motherboard goes on it, they, they don't make them anymore, they get a free dishwasher, their neighbor says, how'd you get a free dishwasher? They're gonna go, oh, my realtor's got me in this program. Um, so again, it keeps you in front of them, little word of mouth and all of it, totally not salesy. It's all stuff that they would want to have anyhow. So that's what we do with the appliances. And uh, I hope you get the chance to, to be a part of that, that whole recall process that we do for our realtors and our clients. All right, we'll see you in the next training.